welcome to our calculus lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to add larger and larger number of digits, numbers together. But let's review the board. This board that is commonly used as a game in West Africa has two rows. That means I can write two digits. And it has two side pockets. And we usually use one to become a digit calculator. And then we use the other to represent an infinite number of stones. So, in this case, if I were to do addition, and I have two numbers and I'm going to add them together, then I'll get a third number. I have no place on the board to put a third number. So you have to sacrifice one of the rows, which means that if you add A plus B, you'll get C, so you have to somehow transform one of the board rows into the number C. So in this case, we'll convert B to C. So we have A plus B, and expect your results to be where B was, and that will be C. So just for starters, if I put the number 1 here, I've written 1. If I put, I've written 13. Okay. So I could also have two stones here, and I have written the number 13, and let's say we are doing addition here, plus 2. Okay. So in this case, our procedure is very simple. I'll take a copy of this and put it here, because I cannot destroy this. That's my A. But I can destroy the B to make the C, so I can collect all the stones here and add it. Because it's less than 10, I can collect all the stones back here. Then I take one stone, I'm doing the second digit now, put it here, collect the zero, and add, and our answer is 15. So this is how normally you will do the addition for smaller number of numbers. So let's try a few more interesting things. So let's do, let's say, two-digit addition. So in this case, I'll create a number. I just choose, you know, 53. And I just add it to make it simple. So I have 53 plus 22. Remember, I do not change the first, but I can transform the second to the answer. So I do that following the rules. I make a copy of the first digit. I collect all of these less than 10, so that's the answer. I'm now working on the second digit. I have to make five stones. So I have five. I collect all of this, still less than 10. And so my answer is exactly what it says here. So this is 75. I can keep on playing. It's not only... Uh, two-digit numbers like this, I can make the numbers more interesting. Meaning I want to show you carry from a digit to digit. So if this is 53, I keep it that. And we have here 8, okay? And then we put 48. So I have 53 plus 48. And we have to figure out what the answer will be. So step by step, I make a copy of the 3. I collect all of this, so it becomes 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this will be part of the answer. Because this is more than 10, I leave one stone here. So now I'm due to do the second digit going down to the left. So there I have to take five stones. You can see the five stones. Copy. This is now six. Then I collect all of these, it becomes 7, 8, 9, 10. So 0 is what I have to put here. Then I leave myself 1. So now I can make a copy of this. I can collect all of this. And the answer is 101. We can do maybe 3 digits. So supposing I had left the number 253. 
And for starters, let's make it quite simple. It's three digit numbers, two, five, three, okay, plus two, two. So this is trivial. You make this, you collect this, and so this is part of the answer. Then you find five more stones from the pool. You have your five stones. Then you take six, seven, less than ten. Then you make a copy of the two. And you take the zero and add, and that's your answer. Your answer is 275. So, we've done three digits. Let's see what happens if we do four digits. We can also do four digits. In this case, I just making numbers. This is now 4,253. And I will add this like that. And so 4253 plus 1275. How do we do that? We do it step by step without even thinking about it. From the least significant going to the most significant digit by digit. I make three. I collect all of this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Last part of the answer here. Then I make a copy of the five. Five stones. Put it here. Now collect all of this. It becomes six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these two are part of the answer. Then I remember it we leave a stone here. Now we are due here. Then we take a copy. Then we collect all. Then we make it like this. Okay. Then we make a copy of the four. Okay. Make a copy. Collect this. And then that's your answer. So in this case, the answer is five, five, two, and eight. Five, five, two, eight. That's your answer. Well, that's an example of what or what I can do. And this calculus, what a calculus lesson. See you in the next lesson.